Hello, good afternoon, tribuners. Welcome back with me, Mutiara, in Indonesian News of Tribun Lampung. We will present you an updating and interesting information from every place in Indonesia. And here, the complete news. The first news is, a father commits immoral acts to his stepdoctor. A father commits immoral acts to his stepdoctor in Musirawas. It has been five years since the victim was in junior high school. The action of the father committing immoral acts to his stepdaughter has been carried out since the year 2017 and at the time, the victim was still 13 years old or underage. For five years, the father committed immoral acts to his stepdaughter in Musirawas. He had committed this indecent act 20 times. The suspect is Jumadi alias Jum, 42 years old, a resident of Dusun 7, Leban Jaya Village, Tuah Negeri District, Mura Regency, so Sumatra Province. The sad thing is that Jumadi commit this deep private act to his own doctor from 2017 years ago to 2022 or within a period of five years. In fact, the action was carried out more than 20 times. The suspect's modus operandi is to lure the victim's illness to be treated and cured. When asked for information regarding the mode used, the suspect Jumadi admitted that he would treat the victim's illness until he recovered. Jumadi also admitted that he had met the mistake of committing this depraved act and regretted it. The suspect was arrested by Muara Kalingi Sector Police personally by the head of the Criminal Investigation Unit and backup by the head of the team of the Mura Resort Police Criminal Investigation Unit. The arrest begins with an investigation into the whereabouts of the perpetrators. After knowing his whereabouts, then the suspect is arrested at his home without resisting. The next news is, Bangkalan Region becomes a suspect in the practice of buying and selling positions. A number of residents of Bangkal Bangkalan Madura admitted that they were not surprised by the relevation of the alleged sale and purchase of position and the procurement of goods and services which drag Bangkalan Region R. Abdul Latif Amin Imran or R. Al Latif as a suspect. The reason they said was that it was common to hear about the legal practice of buying and selling position in Bangkala. His party claimed to have heard this rumor since 2021. Because according to him, the investigation order at the Corruption Eradication Commission is said to have been issued last year. The investigation order was issued after the process of recruiting new officials in the middle of 2021. He suspects that the report came from one of the candidates for office who failed in the process of filling the position. However, he said this could be the beginning of the development of other actors. So, this case should be investigated to the lower level. He predicts that the Corruption Eradication Commission will soon follow up with assigning a number of other parties as suspect. Even so, his party hopes that the disclosure of this case will not interfere with the service process to the community. Instead, officials should use this momentum as a performance improvement. Moreover, the corruption case in Bangkalan is also not the first time this has happened. The next news is, water tanker truck hits motorcyclists. Another traffic accident occurred at Parmasi Atas Kudamati, Ambon on Thursday, October 27, 2022. One motorcyclist was dragged away by the water tanker truck. According to information compiled by tribunambon.com, 
The accident occurred at around half past 9 a.m. The water tanker truck from above descended at high speed, presumably the brakes failed. The water tanker truck then hit a motorcycle that was being ridden by residents of Kudamati, OL, and AF. Unfortunately, the AF passengers fell and was dragged by the truck. Local residents that evacuated the victim to the Regional General Hospital, Dr. M. Halusi Ambon. Meanwhile, the truck continued to hit a parked car and finally hit the fence of a resident's house. 50 meters from the initial location of the incident. Meanwhile, one of the traffic police added said that the water truck driver is still being sought by the police while the driver of the truck has been secured by the Nusa Niwe sector police. The next news is the Alliance of Indigenous Peoples of DRC Pelego urged the ratification of the draft law on Indigenous Peoples. The Alliance of Indigenous Peoples of the Archipelago continues to speak out for their basic rights. This can be seen in the implementation of the 6th Indigenous Peoples Congress of the Archipelago at the Bar Barnabas Yowe Santani Stadium, Jayapura Regency, Papua, on Saturday, October 29, 2022. They urged the state to immediately ratify the Indigenous People Bill. The head of the Balangan Dayak tribe, Kinarang Boy, hosted that. The material presented at current six Indigenous Peoples Congress of the Archipelago can be accepted by the central government. According to him, Indigenous Peoples currently only need protection from the state. The goal is that their rights to natural resources are not taken away by irresponsible parties. The next news is, hundreds of years old Akudak, a legacy of Dutch colonial period. As one of a Dutch colonial city, Samarang has a number of historical places that are not widely known. In Gondoria village, Ngalian sub-district Samarang, Precisely in Gondorio Waterfall Nature Tourism, for example, there is a place in the form of a water channel that residents believe is a relic of the Dutch colonial period. The place is called Talang Londo, a water channel made of wood and extends for about 7 to 10 meters. It is said that the community around Talang Londo has existed for hundreds of years. However, apart from being believed to be a relic of the Dutch, Residents are also believed to be a relic of Wali Songo. The next news is, Young Nature's Lovers in Manado held a youth out commemoration ceremony. Four youth natural loving organizations in Manado joined it in holding a flag ceremony to commemorate the Youth Pledge Day at the Mado, Manado Bersehati Market on Friday, October 28, 2022. The ceremony was unique because a red and white flag measuring 28 by 10 meters was installed on the edge of the Sukarno Bridge. When Indonesia Raya was sung, these youths raised their hands respectfully to the flag from a place next to the food court. Ronald Panke, one of the committee members, said that the four organizations were Mapala Tarsius, KPA Silindrika, KPA Rasamala, and PPAB FRS. Call him, the event is routinely held every day the youth owed. The last news is, Hashtag One Srawung Karya Festival in Pathi. In collaboration with the Central Java Vocational High School in Pathi, 
the party UMKM community held a festival and title, Srawung Karya Hashtag One, on Saturday and Sunday 29 and 30 October 2022. Hundreds of party micro, small and medium enterprises products were exhibited and dozens of outlets set up at the Central Java Vocational High School in Pati. The MSME products exhibit varied, ranging from handicrafts, snack, coffee to the traditional drinks. The head of the party UMKM community, Yuli Sanjoto, said that the word Strawung, which also means interacting with each other, is intended so that the UMKM players can get to know each other. In addition, because his party is also cooperating with the Central Java Vocational High School in Panti, the word Strawung also means that the products of the work of Panti UMKM activities are collaborate, confused with the work of students. He explained that the Srawung Karya Hashtag One Festival was deliberately held to show appreciation and gratitude for Kupat's success in surviving until, until its four year. Yuli added that through this event, his party also wanted to transmit knowledge and entrepreneurial spirit to students. In this case, in Srawung Karya Hashtag One, his party also held a coaching clinic related to product packaging. Then his party also cooperate with the Office of Investment and One Stop Integrated Service of Party to provide free business registration number service for micro enterprises. In this hashtag one Srawung Karya said Yuli, there are 25 boards displaying various products. All micro enterprise clusters, boat goods and service have representatives, including the typical party party products from Juwada. Well, I think that's all the news for today with me, Mutiara. Don't forget to follow us in YouTube Tribun Lampung News Video, Facebook Tribun Lampung, Instagram, and TikTok account of Tribun Lampung for further information. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.